Okay, my straps keep falling down because I've stretched out my top and they just keep falling off. Hi! What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Are you... Are you looking at my eyebrows? Stop it. Stop it. Okay, so as you can probably see, I have my eyebrows done recently and the tint in my brows always stays on a little bit longer than it should just because they are so bloody dense. So I'm aware I'm looking a little bit like Bert and Ernie right now, but they'll go down. They'll go down, right? But yeah, please ignore how intense they're looking right now. It'll look better once I've got makeup on. I mean, I haven't put makeup on since I've had them done, but I'm assuming it will, but yeah. Stop looking at my eyebrows. I'm just gonna blur them out so you can't. Uh, hello, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying out some new Primark makeup. I say new, I don't really know what's new at Primark anymore. Obviously, we haven't been there for a long time, really. But yeah, I went into my local store recently and I picked out a bunch of stuff that I hadn't seen before. I was also very kind of sent a couple of products from them as well that I will be featuring. And yeah, today we're just going to do a good old-fashioned testing Primark makeup video. I need to put some foundation on because I don't have a new one to try. So three, two, one, two, one. Let's get beige. Actually, that's not because I have a new headband to try on. This one is called the Zebra Headband. It cost me a 50p and so, yeah, I'm gonna put that on. Oh my God, it's got, oh my God, it's got hair, okay. Oh shit, I wish you could see. Okay, three, three, two, one, let's get beige. Ayy. Nope, the brows are still looking crazy. All right, so as you can see, I am now all beiged out. So now I'm gonna go in with a powder. I don't think I've tried this powder before. I don't remember if I've tried this or not, but I'm trying it again, okay? This is the Loose Mineral Powder Buildable Coverage Matte Finish Oil Free, blah, 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 blah. Oil Free, there's a cat hair on my nose. Um, it cost me two pounds and I got it in the shade Nude. I don't, I couldn't see like a translucent one or anything. So I just got this one. Okay, so the color actually doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty similar to what I've got on my face right now. Comes with this, Little, little whippersnapper of a seal here. It's like, hey, let's figure out how to actually open this. It's like an escape room, but loose powder edition. So unfortunately guys, I don't have my macro lens today. This is one of the last videos that I'm filming before we do a complete setup change. It, I mean, it should look different to you guys in terms of quality, but it won't look, I mean, it will actually. It should look different, okay? But let me just get this hair off my nose. Yeah, this is like one of the last videos that I'm filming with my current camera. So we're moving everything around at the moment and my macro camera is not in action right now, but I'll let you guys know. And if anything crazy happens, I'll like take pictures or insert like a phone video like I used to. That looks all right so far, you know, that looks pretty smooth. Color doesn't look bad either. Like it doesn't really look like a tinted powder, which is good. A lot of you say that I say good weirdly. It's all just make fun of my accent that I didn't really know I had. So I'm gonna take a bit more of my lid on a big fluffy brush. And just set the rest of that. Really doesn't look half bad. I used the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I mixed it with like half foundation, half lightener because I am quite pale at the moment. Um, but yeah, I've been using that little combo for a while now. And yeah, apart from like all the Michael hair on my face because I was like just burying my face into him earlier. Don't know if you guys do that if you're like sad, anxious, just in general, just not loving life. I just bury my face into their stomachs. And that's why I'm just always covered in cat fur. I don't mind that at all. The color's decent. I mean, obviously we'll kind of see how it all sort of goes. It might all go tits up from here, who knows? But right now, it looks all right. Cat hair, cat hair, cat hair. By the way, guys, here I am powdering down my lid, but some of you might have seen that I'm actually gonna be streaming soon. And um, when I say I'm actually gonna be streaming, I mean, I'm gonna get a schedule in. I don't know what the schedule's gonna be just yet because I don't wanna do too much and then overwhelm myself and then go like, oh my God, I don't know what to do and then never do it. But I'm gonna be streaming. I was playing Among Us with some of you the other night and I had a lot of fun. So if you do wanna play Among Us with me, I mean, even if we're not streaming, I'm always down. I can add you into the Discord or whatever, but yeah. Follow my Twitch, I'll link it down below. I don't have any content on there at the moment because like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm kind of getting to grips with the actual like website. But yeah. I'm, I'm like finally doing this gaming thing. This is like, that's like my first love in life. So I'm like, you know what? Do it. You can see how much like a loser I really am. Because trust me, it, it gets worse, it gets worse. Okay, so next to my face, I have two different bronzers. One in the form of the Bronze Dreamer bronzer, 
which is this one here. It looks a little bit dark for me right now, but I will give it a try. And then from the same collection, these are some of the products that they actually sent to me. I have the Mesmerize Eye and Face Palette, and it has this bronzer in here. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Like, I feel like that one is a little bit more like neutral looking. Okay. So yeah, first of all, I'm gonna go in with this bronzer here. So as you can see, just in terms of the palette on itself, you have 12 different eyeshadows, one bronzer, one highlighter. So I'm just gonna tap the excess off there because I don't know how pigmented it is yet. So funny, like you guys can't see it, but all I can see in the mirror is this. I'm like, I'm a zebra bitch. So I'm gonna pop some of that on my cheeks there. If you guys haven't seen any of my Primark videos before, I usually really rate their products. I get really excited when I see new Primark makeup, especially like their highlights and stuff, because probably, probably at least like 75, 80% is, is decent. That's too much bronzer, okay. But yeah, I do really rate a lot of their stuff. And this bronzer seems to be another thing that I rate because it's just going on really nicely. It doesn't look patchy, it doesn't look, it hasn't like skipped on my foundation or anything. It's pigmented, so I would just take a little amount and start there, because otherwise you could end up just looking like completely orange. But yeah, really quite nice bronzer. Actually does remind me a lot of this one here. Give me sun. This give me sun is a little bit more neutral, I'd say. And it does have a slightly nice finish because this one is just completely matte, but I mean, I'm having no issues with that at all. And then I'll just go in with a tiny little amount of this one because like I said, I do think it is a little bit too dark for me. You can see it there, like it is, I mean, it probably blends out a lot more subtly and it does seem to have like a little bit more of like a sheen on the skin. It's not sparkly at all, but it does have like a nice little healthy glow to it, but it does look quite dark. So I'm just gonna go just above where I put that other one there. I think that's too dark. Yeah, I think that's too dark for me right now. It probably works for me like when it's not, just when it's not December and I'm not cold and I'm not pale. All right, so next I have two different highlighters to try out. Well, I have three highlighters to try out, but realistically, I'm probably just gonna go for like this one or this one on my face. But this palette here is called the Summer Storm Face Palette. Now this says Summer Storm. I'm aware this palette is probably quite old, but they still had a ton when I was in my local Primark. I don't know about your guys' Primark. I don't know if it's just because Cornwall is like years and years behind, but usually our Primark tends to stop products for a really long time. It's not just like the new products. So yeah, you probably can still find this in a lot of Primarks. You can find it in mine anyway. Yeah, I have that palette there, which also has a bunch of different blushes in there. And then I have the Gold Luster Highlighter Powder, which was three pounds and it has this little diamond shape on there. Okay, they're very kind of like chunky looking, but they look hella pigmented. Let me just swatch a couple. That one's a bit more, ooh. Look how reflective that is when I put the lights on it. And this one here. That one actually looks really good as well. Wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Who are you? Tell me you know that meme. Okay, you got homework. Look up Kazoo Kid after this video if you haven't seen it. That's your homework for today. Okay, so we have the lighter one. Wow, that looks really pretty actually. The gold one, which now I've swatched it, maybe looks a bit too goldy for me. And then we have the slightly more champagne-y bronzy one. Honestly, like they're actually all quite dark. I was looking at that really, really light one there, thinking it would just be kind of like a silver, but that actually looks like it would be the kind of perfect color for me. Just a little heads up there. But yeah, let's try this one out. Let me just savage it open with my tweezers. Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe those swatches on my sock. Thank you. Let's try this one here. I'm gonna go right in the middle. This looks more up my street. Okay, let's swatch it here. I mean, ooh, there goes my strap. I've stretched out like all of my tops because I put on weight during lockdown and now I've lost it a little bit and all of my tops are falling off me. <laughs> stop it, stop it. I'm gonna get demonetized in a minute. Okay, that one is a lot more chalky feeling, but it does. I don't know, let me like swatch it here maybe, on like a smooth part of my hand. It does have like, what's my hand doing? I'm like, hello. It does look a lot more subtle, but it does look nice. Maybe I'll start with that one and then go in with like the lighter one from the palette. Let's do that. I'm glad we were all in agreement here. So yeah, I'm gonna take that one there. Okay, there is so much kickback. You guys can't really see that, but like there is just a lot, okay.
I mean, it's there. It's definitely there. Is it my kind of there? No. Can we build it up? Yes. But like, when you got it in the shape of a diamond, I'm expecting like actual diamonds to appear on my cheeks. I'm not just expecting... I mean, it does look nice. It's just a bit subtle for me. So we we know what to do. We're just gonna go in with the super intense one. So I'm gonna swirl my brush around there. I don't know how easy this is gonna be to pick it up because it's almost like a cream kind of powder. Maybe I'll try it on this side. <gasps> there goes my strap again, I'm sorry. I'm nude. See, that one's got a bit more of like oomph to it. It's a bit more metallic, which is what I like. I feel like the other one was just kind of like sitting on my skin a bit as well. It's like, it wasn't giving me enough. It wasn't giving me enough to, I don't know, warrant the fact that it was just sitting on my skin. Yeah, I think I do prefer this palette here. Don't get me wrong. They're not the best highlighters I've tried from Primark. I've tried out a bunch of other ones from them before and they've always been really, really good. But like, I don't know. It just seems to be sitting on my skin just a little bit more than I would like. I want it like in my skin. I want it like in my veins. I want someone to cut my body in half, Among Us style, and they'll just be like highlighter everywhere. Yeah, I mean, not my favorite. I definitely prefer the face palette. Like if you are slightly deeper than me, then you will be able to use all three shades. I just bit my tongue. But yeah, this one I was really excited to use and you just weren't, you just weren't that great, mate. Sorry. So then I'm gonna go in with my blusher brush and I'm gonna take this one down here, just a tiny amount because I mean, you might be able to see it's quite pigmented and I don't wanna add too much color to my face. Otherwise I will start looking like a clown. That looks okay. It's not my favorite base in the whole world, but I mean, it doesn't look like a Primark base. I don't mind it though. I'm not like over the moon and amazed by everything. I like the bronzer, the one in this palette. This one here. Hello. Let me just swatch this highlighter as well. There's no chance that I'm gonna like this because it's literally like minty green. I mean, I might like it, but I might not want it on my face. Yeah, it's like, it's like minty green, like a silvery, ashy minty green, but I like it to look at. I just don't want it on my face. But yeah, the bronzer in this palette was good. So next we have this guy here, which definitely does look a lot like MAC Fix Plus. This, however, is the Instant Hydration Priming Spray. I should have used this earlier. I mean, I'm gonna use it now. What's the real difference? Honestly, I'm just spraying water on my face. It just says hyaluronic acid and pineapple extract. Like, surely I can just put that on my face anyway. I'm going to. I don't care if I can, I'm going to, okay? Yeah, let's have a little sniff of this because honestly, that's like the main thing that I'm interested in. Oh. Oh, it does smell very good. Yum. Okay, yeah, that's going all over my face. I don't care if it's not supposed to. More, more. Do I taste this one as well? This one doesn't taste good. Don't eat this one. I mean, I'd probably drink it if someone gave me a tenner, but that doesn't mean I should. Okay, I definitely put too much on my face. Like, I'm very wet right now. Don't even, don't even think it. That's what she said. But I imagine once it is kind of settled down a bit, It'll probably make the powder look a little bit less powdery. I know. I have this Patrick Tar fan that I was too scared to use. Honestly, this is probably worth more than my entire face of makeup today. Oh, I can just smell the money. It's not my money. I didn't buy this, but... Okay, that was enough. So next, you guys know I work with Benefit. Honestly, like, I didn't plan for this in the video. I was just gonna do my brows off camera, but... Two birds, one stone. So today I am gonna be using the Benefit 24 hour brow setter, which is honestly, it's pretty much the only brow gel that I use on a daily basis if I do want my brows to stay in place. And I mean, as you can see, I don't really need to fill them in or anything. So I'm just gonna brush those upwards just a little bit. I had them laminated, but like not in a really, really spiky way, just in a way where the hairs are kind of a little bit more straight because otherwise they're just like little wiggly worms and I have no control over them. But yeah, I'm just gonna just brush those upwards. Yeah, my partnership with Benefit is coming to an end for this year, but I hope you guys know that I do genuinely love their products, like brow products especially. And so like when I do do these inclusions and stuff, I just wanna let you guys know, like I use these very often. You can see like this one is basically run out. I'm like scraping the barrel here, but I still love it. I know it's hard to trust YouTubers half the time. And I know me sitting here and saying, but honestly, I'm being honest. Doesn't mean anything because Everyone says that, but I'm being honest, really good brow gel. 
feel like that's all I really need for my brows today. I feel like they're looking intense enough as it is. But yeah, if you guys do want to check this out, I will leave a link to it down below. So now for my lips, I'm just going to go in with my Doll Beauty Lip Liner. This one here is in the shade Diva Forever. And it's like a chocolatey brown colour. I'm just going to do a tiny bit of lining with that. I tried to get a new lip liner from them. Literally all of them have been like opened and stuff. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Super natural. And then for lipsticks, I have two different types here. One is from that, whatever it was called, the Summer Storm Collection, and it's in the shade Way, but looks like a slightly deeper nude. And then I also picked out the matte lipstick in the shade, I'm forever just trying to read prices here and names. In the shade Naked, this cost me £1.50. So this one, ooh. That's actually more of a me kind of nude than I thought it was gonna be. So this is the one in the shade Wave. It's like a very kind of peachy tone. Let's pop that on. Smells so good. Ooh. I like that color a lot. That's actually lighter than I thought it was gonna be. Judging by the sticker, I thought it was gonna be a bit kind of like terracotta-ish and that's not really a bit of me. Let's try out this matte one here. Yeah, see, that's like my kind of nude where it's literally like concealer lips. So this seems a bit more kind of like waxy to apply, but that looks like a good color. So I'll pop that right in the middle. This one smells different. It smells like, it smells like a spiced vanilla Yankee candle. I'm into it. Oh yes. I'm getting like naked again here. So like as soon as I like something, I'm instantly like, I'm into that lip combo. I was thinking it was gonna be a lot more orangey and a lot more peachy than I would have wanted, which is why I did my lips first. Cause I was like, ooh, like what sort of eye look is gonna go with this? But no, I'm really into both of those. This one's a little bit more creamy. This one is more matte, so it is a little bit more drying, but right for the middle of your lips. All right, so now for eyes, I'm gonna go back in with that Mesmerize palette, which by the way, costs seven pounds. So there's not too many shades to kind of choose from here. It's generally pretty neutral all around, but I might try and add a little bit of like one of these colors in. So as you saw, I did kind of powder down my lids, but honestly, like you can still see they are a little bit tacky. They've still got like a bit of a shine to them. So first of all, I was gonna take that brush. I'm gonna go in with a slightly smaller one. I'm gonna take this shade here. They do have names, but I've already lost, I've already lost the piece of paper that comes with it. So sorry about that. So I'm just gonna kind of like stamp that in my crease. And then once I've got a bit of color down, I'm gonna blend it. I feel silly asking this because I am by no means any kind of pro at all with anything to do with makeup, but I've had a lot of questions asking if I can do like how to for dummies. I'm not calling you guys dummies. That's literally like what you guys have said with like eyeshadow blending and stuff like that. Like I said, I, I never got trained for makeup really. I did a couple of like training days when I worked at Bare Minerals, but that was mostly down to like their powder products and how to use them. But if you want me to talk about how I like to blend my eyeshadow and how I find it works best for me and maybe give you guys like some little like crash courses or something, then let me know, I can do that. If not, I totally get it. I wouldn't want advice from someone that is a mess like me either. But for some reason, some of you do. I just dropped something there, I don't know what it was. So if you do, then let me know, I can do that. So next, I'm gonna go in with this shade here with that larger fluffy brush. And I'm going to just blend that in my crease. So I've got the first shade down that's a little bit lighter and then I'm just gonna blend over the top. And again, I actually really, really rate a lot of Primark's eyeshadow palettes. They've definitely had some duds, but more often than not, they're actually just really, really good. Sometimes you just need to blend them a little bit more or sometimes some of the colors aren't as pigmented, but again, if you just add to it, you can get there. Sometimes you just need to put in a little bit extra work. But those brown tones so far seem to be doing pretty well. Cool. So then I think I'm going to take this shade here for like the majority of my lid. You can see how pigmented that is. And I'm just using a luxe all over shader brush from Zoeva. So I'm going to tap that on my eye like so. Not right in the inner corner, but just kind of leaving a little bit of a space so I can put my inner corner highlight in there so it doesn't like darken my inner corner too much. I mean, it's not that shimmery, but let me take my primer slash setting spray slash beverage and wet it a little bit. And we'll see if that makes a difference. 
There we go. I don't normally like to wear eyeshadows because I'm like, mm, the eyeshadow should be good enough on their own without me having to do stuff to him. But I mean, if you do want to build it up a little bit, that is a very easy way to do it. So then, yeah, I think I am going to go in with this shade here. I'm just going to go on the other side of the brush with it. Just like so. It's like a very kind of like maroony sort of shade. Very pigmented, so I'm tapping a lot of that off. And again, I'm going to tap that on the outer corner. Make some questionable faces. Pretty. And then I'll just go back in with the fluffy brush just to kind of blend that into my crease a little bit. And I'll do the same thing I did before because I do want a bit more shimmer. And take a bit more. And just build that up a little bit more on the lid. But because I blended it out into my crease, I shouldn't have to do too much blending otherwise. You know, a little bit of warmth. Does that make you happy? If you ask me, I would have just liked to have just put brown everywhere, but I know I'm boring. I'm literally either like blue eyeshadow everywhere or just brown. Thank you, just brown. So now I'm gonna go back in with that shade here, which honestly looks pretty similar to the bronzer. And I'll just run that on my lower lash line. There is no fallout either, not even a little piece, which makes me happy. I never really do any kind of warm tones on my eyes. So when I do, I'm like, do I like it? Do I hate it? Who am I? And then I have to go with one of these shades here. So we have this like pearly shade, which looks quite nice. This one is catching my eye. It does look quite dark though. So maybe I'll try this one. Just throwing up gang signs here now. I'm gonna go in with the pearly one actually, cause that actually looks really, really nice when I swatched it. So I'm gonna go in with this one here. And I'll just pop that right on the inner corner there. Shall I try it with my trusty little pineapple spray? Cause I'm really actually quite enjoying doing that today. Nice. And then a little bit on the brow bone. That eyeshadow palette was really easy to use. No fallout, blended out nicely. The shimmers. They're there, like they are pigmented and everything, but if you do want them to be a little bit more metallic, just get your setting spray or priming spray or just spit on your brush. Whatever you gotta do to make it work. And then yeah, they do just look a lot more like high end. So now I'm gonna go in with mascara. So this here is called the Dramatic Lash Volume and Length Lash Care Complex Mascara. This cost me £2.50 and it's sealed. So I need my tweezers. Again, I really, really rate Primark mascaras. They're kind of on like a similar vein to Essence. There's like, there's been a couple of duds that I've tried, but generally speaking, the mascaras are just so good. And if anyone ever says to me like, oh, I need a really, really cheap mascara that's just good. I'm like, mate, head on down to Primark and you'll find something. Okay, so this one seems a lot more natural than some of the other ones I've tried. Yeah, it's a lot more natural. It is getting all my lashes and it seems nice. It just doesn't really seem like it's gonna be one that wows me that much. I mean, it's, it's early days, but first impressions, I'm like, okay, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. And obviously it's super cheap, but is it, is it doing anything wow? It makes my lashes look nice. It's not, it's really not done anything that I dislike. It, I just wish it kind of did more of whatever it's doing right now. If that makes any sense. I mean, you can see it's like, it's obviously coating my lashes. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It's a good mascara. It's not as good as some of the other ones that I've tried, but it's still doing a bloody good job. All right, guys, you know the drill. It's time to say sayonara to my little zebra. We'll put you in the drawer and see you another day. Uh, I'm not gonna do the other eye. Yeah, I'm gonna do the other eye and then I'll check back with you guys for the final look. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. I'm actually pretty damn impressed with it. There were a few situations at the highlighter. I was like, oh, is this just gonna look a bit cheap by the end of it? But actually like now I've set everything down. Now I've got my lips on, my eyeballs on. I'm like, this doesn't look like Primark makeup at all. I know obviously I had like a different base underneath. It wasn't like it was like a full Primark makeup look, but normally the game changes are like the powder, the eyeshadow, the bronzers, and they all worked in my favor. But yeah, I think it all turned out really, really nicely to be honest. And I mean, you could add like a red lip or something with this and it's instantly a Christmas makeup look. I can't believe we're almost at Christmas. I haven't got, I haven't even got my decorations up right now. I've got a Christmas tree just like chilling, just by itself. Haven't got my decorations up. Haven't got like, 
pretty much any of my Christmas presents sorted. I'm just like, wait, where did the past like nine months of my life go? But yeah, overall, really, really happy with how this all eventually turned out. Let me know what you think of it in the comments section down below. Let me know if there's any other Primark products that you've seen in your store that you want me to keep a little eye on. Also, let me know what other brands you want me to try out. Like, I'm really, really enjoying doing like the more cheaper, affordable brands or like supermarket brands. I've had a lot of requests to test out Boutique from Sainsbury's. I think that's what it's called. But yeah, I love trying out like super affordable brands or like products from really weird brands like Poundland or something like that. So if there's any cheap stuff you want me to review, or if you want me to do like a Primark versus high-end makeup look, because let's face it, I mean, Primark are always coming out with the dupes. I also have like a dupe for one of the Huda Beauty palettes. So yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. I want to have more fun on this channel. I want to do more like challenges and stuff. I was saying on Twitter the other day that I really struggle to be like fully myself in makeup videos, not because I feel like I have to hide anything, but there's only like so far and so like much of yourself you can be when you're reviewing like lipsticks and foundations and stuff. So if you wanna see me having a little bit more fun, head on over to my Twitch if you wanna play Among Us with me or whatever, we can do that over on my Twitch. And if you wanna see me going like, just just a very a strange level of weirds, check out my Ladiesman69 channel. That's like my alter ego. But apart from that guys, that is it from me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I'm now uploading every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. And yeah, that's about it. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Love you, bye.